welcome you all for another Dino series. Semiconductors are the brains of modern electronics. Today, the semiconductor industry is a massive industry whose annual sales revenue crosses US $400 billion. Over its six years of existence, this mature industry has experimented with various business models. Semiconductor fabs are highly sophisticated and most advanced manufacturing compared to any other manufacturing industries. Each fab construction cost varies from $3 billion to $5 billion based on the technology nodes. We'll be looking at each of the semiconductor business models called IDM, Foundry, Fabless, Fablight, Design Houses, and the recent announcement IDM 2.0 from Intel. Today, there is no sign that demand is slowing for semiconductors. Global semiconductor sales totaled $439 billion in the year 2020. And that's an increase of 6.5 percentage compared to the 2019 total of $4.1 billion. According to the Semiconductor Industry Association, SIA, global sales for the month of December 2020 were $39.2 billion. That's an increase of 8.3 percentage compared to the 2019. The U.S. chip industry has captured 47 percentage of the global market share, which is $208 billion in sales, followed by Korean, Japan, European, and other countries. The U.S. semiconductor industry maintains market share leadership in sales of logic, memory, and analog semiconductors. But however, for memory and discrete semiconductors, other con countries' industries lead. While U.S.-based companies represented nearly half of semiconductor sales, they represented only 12% of chip manufacturing capacity in 2020. There is a down from 37% in 1990, but slowly it's coming down to 12% and it's expected to go even down to 10%. If you look at this chart and you can see clearly uh, uh, it is pretty much going to come down from 12 uh, to 10. Most companies now source their chips from factories in Asia. Right? Also, over the next 10 years, semiconductor manufacturing is going to grow 56%. U.S. wants to get a bigger piece of that manufacturing pie. And now, U.S. President Joe Biden is trying to give the U.S. semiconductor industry what it wants. Uh, the SIA CEO John Newfer said in a statement on March 31st that Biden's spending program would invest ambitiously in U.S. semiconductor workers, manufacturing and innovation, the three cornerstones of America's strength and its future. So we're going to look at the first semiconductor business model. It's called Integrated Device Manufacturers in short form IDM uh, are the oldest types of semiconductor companies carrying out all the functions in designing, manufacturing and sales of the IC chips. Many of these companies have been operating successfully for years and years and specializing in certain types of semiconductor chips. Due to the dynamic nature of the semiconductor industry, the term IDM has become less accurate uh, than when it was coined. Um, so by looking at the definition of an IDM, a company that performs every step of the chip making process, right, uh, from the designing and understanding uh, the functionality and making uh, in the chip manufacturing process, packaging, assembling and testing, 
and uh, selling to customers. So it's end-to-end chip banking process. So that's what the IDM companies do. But due to the huge capital investments, there was a there were huge barriers to the entry. Um, intellectual property is the lifeblood of the semiconductor industry. IP is one of the core assets of IDM companies. Uh, but because of the higher costs involved into the end-to-end manufacturing process, some of the less technical work involved in this process, assembly, packaging, and testing are outsourced to other companies. So if you look at IDM as an example of an IDM, Micron Technology is another example of an IDM, uh, Texas Instruments is another one. Um, so Intel, Micron, and TI are American device manufacturers. Uh, they produce the majority of the products in factories that they own and operate themselves. Uh, this factory is lo- located in the United States and abroad. In a similar way, uh, you, you're going to look at SK INX, uh, Samsung, uh, Toshiba, and XP, Infineon, and STI uh, in the coming uh, slides. So you're going to look at the uh, Intel Corporation. The Intel Corporation is the world's largest semiconductor chip manufacturer by revenue, and it's a developer of the x86 series of the microprocessors. And you can look at the microprocessors found in almost um, in all the personal computers. Um, Intel supplies microprocessors for computer system manufacturers. Intel also manufactured motherboard, chipsets, network interface com- controllers, integrated circuits, flash memory, graphic chips, embedded process, and other devices related to communications and uh, computing. A Micron Technology uh, is another American company. Um, Micron produces memory devices, both wallet and non wallet memory devices, DRAM and NAND. And also it produces of computer memory and computer data storage, including flash memory and USB flash drives. Uh, Micron is headquartered in Boise, Idaho. Texas Instruments, um, TI is an American technology company headquarters in Dallas, Texas. The designs and manufacturers, semiconductors and various integrated circuits which it sells to electronic designers and manufacturers globally. The company's focus is on developing analog chips and embedded processes, which accounts for more than 80% of its revenue. TI also produces TI digital light processing technology and education technology uh, products, including calculators, microcontrollers, and multi-core processors. SK Inex is a South Korean company uh, it's a memory um, semiconductor supply of dynamic random maximum DRAM chips and flash memory chips. INX is the world's second largest chip maker after Samsung Electronics and the world's third la- semiconductor company. SK INX will pay US $9 billion for the Intel NAND memory and storage business, which includes the NAND SSD business, the NAND component and wafer business, and then Dalian uh, NAND memory fact manufacturing facility in China. Toshiba Corporation is a Japanese uh, conglomerate headquarters in Minato, Tokyo. It's a device fired semiconductor products or hard disk drives, printers, batteries, and lighting. It was one of the biggest manufacturers of personal computers, consumer electronics, home appliances, and medical equipment. As a semiconductor company and the inventor of the flash memory, Toshiba would be one of the top 10 in the chip industry and until its flash memory unit was spun off a Toshiba memory letter Kioxia in the late uh, 2010s. NXP, Semiconductor is a Dutch semiconductor manufacturer uh, with headquarters in Eindhoven, Netherlands. NXP said it was the fifth largest non-memory semiconductor supply in 2016 and the leading semiconductor supplier for the secure identifications, automotive and digital networking industries. Then a next comes called Infineon Technologies, called AG, is a German semiconductor manufacturer founded in 1999 when the semiconductor operations of the former parent company Siemens, AG, were spun off. It's a marked leader in automotive and power semiconductors.
infinite market semiconductor and systems for automotive industrial and and the multi-market sectors as well as chip card and security products the next one st microelectronics it's a french italian multinational electronics and semiconductors manufacturer headquarters in geneva switzerland resulting from the merger of two government-owned semiconductor companies uh, it's commonly called st and it's a europe's largest semiconductor chip mark maker based on the revenue ST Microelectronics is the leading integrated device manufacturer and is a global semiconductor leader at delivering intelligent energy efficient products. The next business model is the foundry model. It's, uh, it's a microelectronic engineering and manufacturing model uh, just consisting of semiconductor uh, fabrication plant. Right. Uh, so uh, this foundries make chips for uh, other companies so if you look at in the early days of semiconductor industry when ic complexity was low and ic design fabrication test process were forming the idm really worked well uh, but in a mature semiconductor industry where the product complex is so high and it's impractical and cost prohibitive for one company to handle all the process uh, now with this foundry model the companies are just focused on the manufacturing the foundry model is a microelectronics engineering and a manufacturing business model consisting of semiconductor fabrication plant or foundry and an integrated circuit design operation each belong to separate companies or subsidies um, foundries are what we call as a pure play manufacturers so to meet the enormously high demand for semiconductor chips, which are used in most electronic devices, mass production of semiconductor chips is required. So to take an advantage of economics of scale, foundries have large fabrication plants to mass manufacture semiconductor chips, which are then supplied to fabulous uh, semiconductor companies. If you look at some of the examples of pure play manufacturers or TSMC, global foundries, UMC, SMIC and uh, Samsung. And if you look at the uh, chart, uh, pretty much the um, TSMC pretty much plays uh, in this uh, in this space. They pretty much they occupy the whole space in the foundry section. So TSMC pioneered. Uh, the pure play foundry business model when it was founded in 1987 and then has been the world's largest dedicated semiconductor foundry ever since. Uh, the company supports a thriving ecosystem of global customers and partners with the industry's leading process technology and portfolio for design enablement solutions. Uh, with a global operation spanning Asia, Europe and North America is pretty, uh, pretty big company. Um, so TSMC is the first foundry to provide a five nanometer uh, production capabilities, uh, the most advanced semiconductor process technology nodes uh, available in the world. The next one is called the Global Foundries, uh, is the another American semiconductor foundry headquarters in Santa Clara, California, United States. Global Foundries was created by the uh, manufacturing home of advanced micro devices, AMD. Um, so the Emirate of Abu Dhabi is the owner of the company through a subsidiary advanced technology investment company, ATIST. So the next one, the called the United Microelectronic Corporation, UMC, is a Taiwanese company based on Taiwan. It was founded as the Taiwan's first semiconductor company in 1980 as the spin off the government sponsored Industrial Technology Research Institute. Um, so UMC is uh, best known for its semiconductor foundry business, manufacturing integrated circuits wafer for fabulous uh, semiconductor companies. The next one is the Samsung Electronics. It's a South Korean multinational electronic company. It is the world, world's largest manufacturer of consumer electronics by revenue. Um, as of 2019, Samsung Electronics is the world's second largest technology company by revenue. And with the market capitalization, it's the large, second, 12th largest in the world. Right? The Samsung Semiconductor SSI is a subsidiary of Samsung Electronics, 
providing memory, logic, storage devices, LED components, and LCD OLED panels. Um, Samsung Electronics has been the world's uh, memory chip maker since 1993 and the largest semiconductor company. So the next one, the third one is called the Fabless uh, business model. Uh, Fabless manufacturing is the design and sale of hardware devices and semiconductor chips while outsourcing their fabrication or fab to a specialized manufacturer called a semiconductor foundry. Um, the fabless companies do not manufacture their own chips. They outsource production foundries. These companies benefit from the lower capital costs and are able to focus on research and development of this product. These companies have some of the most innovative and extensive product portfolios, right? And we're going to look at those companies in the coming uh, seconds. So fabless manufacturing is a design and sale of hardware devices and semiconductor chips while outsourcing their fabrication or fab to a specialized manufacturer called a semiconductor foundry. Uh, fabless companies can benefit from a lower capital cost while concentrating their research and uh, development resources on the end market. The term fab stands for fabrication. So ends fabless indicating that the company doesn't take any part in the fabrication of the product, but instead only participates in the designing and the marketing aspects of the semiconductor chips. The fabless model has proved to be successful and gave birth to many new semiconductor companies. Broadcom Corporation is an American fabless semiconductor company um, that makes products for other wireless and broadband communication industry. Uh, Broadcom's category a leading semiconductor infrastructure software product portfolio serves critical markets that include data center networking software broadband wireless storage industrial Qualcomm is an American company headquartered in San Diego California it creates intellectual property semiconductor software and services related to wireless technology it owns patent critical to the 5G 4G uh, other mobile communication standards. Over the years, Qualcomm expanded its selling semiconductor products in a predominantly fabulous manufacturing model. It also developed semiconductor components or software for vehicles, watches, laptops, Wi Fi, smartphones, and other devices. Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, in short form, is an American semiconductor company based in Santa Clara, California that develops computer processes and related technologies for the business and consumer markets. Initially, AMD manufactured its own processes. The company later followed Fabless model, outsourced its ma manufacturing to foundry companies. AMD's main products include microprocessors, motherboard, chipsets, embedded processors, and graphic processors for servers, workstations, personal computers, and embedded system applications. The next one, is the NVIDIA Corporation. It's an American company. Um, it got in Santa Clara, California. It also designs graphic processing units called GPUs, as well as system on chip SOC units for the mobile computing and uh, automotive market. So it's a primary GPU line labeled G4. It's pretty much kind of a direct competition with the GPUs of the Radeon brand uh, by advanced uh, uh, micro devices. So in addition to the GPU manufacturing, NVIDIA also provides an application programming interface API called CUDA uh, that allows the creation of massive parallel programs which utilize GPUs. So they deploy in supercomputing science around the world. MediaTek, uh, it's, uh, it's a, a Taiwanese a fabulous semiconductor company that provides chips for wireless communications high definition television handle mobile devices like smartphones and tablet computers navigation systems consumer multimedia products and digital subscriber line services as well as the optical disk drives the fourth one business models is called the fab light or asset light uh, it's a new trend in the in the IC industry, uh, which is spreading quickly and causing a good deal of debate about the future of chip making process. Um, 
So what, what is a fab life business model? Um, a semiconductor manufacturing model that enables now semiconductor manufacturing that caters to specific low cost, higher technology node that are still in highly demand industries like aerospace, automotive, shipping, uh, defense, and etc. So the, the, the complex process of fabricating semiconductor devices has also given rise to the cost of development, uh, the lower the expenditure and to survive the semiconductor business, companies have leveraged different business models, right? So the advent of fab or asset light uh, differs from other semiconductor business model as it purely focus on um, cost optimization, right? Either by building fabs by the companies that never ventured into semiconductor manufacturing or but are heavily dependent on semiconductors to meet day-to-day -day production, right? Or by acquiring older fabs for in-house semiconductor need. We record most recently, largest Japanese IC makers like Toshiba, Renesis, Sony, or Fujitsu, right? they all joined this FabLite model um, to, to spend in the chip making process pretty much for their internal demands. Um, Ford may want to build, buy or build a semiconductor manufacturing facility uh, that caters to its automotive needs. Right? Um, the, in automotive, their products can be used for decades. The majority of these active semiconductor chips do not use today's latest and greatest technology nodes, but instead are dependent on yesterday's older technology nodes. The uh, Panasonic, the Japanese leading consumer electronics joint, Panasonic managed some of the important semiconductor fabrication facilities in the areas uh, beyond uh, deep node logic uh, ICs. The next one, the uh, Sony Corporation uh, is steering its semiconductor business models from vertically integrated operation to fabric operation model. Um, this is this move is a very uh, major breakthrough in Sony's uh, previous strategy to develop and manufacturing core chips internally. Um, right. <clears throat> the next one is Fujitsu uh, Semiconductor. I've advanced their semiconductor business in accordance with the, with the FabLite business model. Right. Um, so they accelerated the FabLite strategy, uh, starting with the transfer of ownership of Fujitsu Semiconductor uh, plant and test facilities. And the next one, I'm going to look at uh, another business model um, called uh, uh, design houses. Uh, design houses have emerged recently and perform even less functions than fabless companies. Um, semiconductor design houses serves as a bridge between a fabless chip makers that engage only in chip design and the foundry firms that handle the actual chip production. Um, Due to their lack of original chip brands, design houses are often referred to as called chipless uh, firms. So semiconductor design houses serves as a bridge, as I mentioned, between fabulous chip makers and the chip design. Um, so if you look at design houses have been emerged recently and performs even less functions than fabulous companies, right? Um, so they focus on designing the integrated circuits, which follow a certain set of business section and rules. Uh, then they license the intellectual property of the designs to other companies, uh, which customize and fabricate the, the actual chips. If you look at some of the notable companies, Synapses, Cadence Design Systems, Home Holdings, and those are the companies pretty much play in this design houses space. The next this uh, another business model called the EDA. Uh, it's pretty much called the electronic design automation. Uh, is is pretty much the EDA is the industry that commercializes the tools, methodologies, and flows associated with the fabrication of electronic system. Um, EDA has been a crucial driving force behind the growth of the semiconductor industry. Um, EDA companies deliver software products, tools, and platforms which assist in designing and verifying integrated circuits and uh, printed circuit boards. Uh, so today, computers have billions of transistors and uh, manual design and layout uh, and are not feasible option anymore. Yeah. 
if you look at in the early days of uh, ic making uh, integrated circuits were designed by hand right but as the size of the design grew automation was required uh, the earliest tools also assisted with drafting the design quickly followed by tools that help with pay, pl place in route and functional verification The industry produces tools that assist in the specification, design, verification, implementation, and the test of electronic systems. Um, the, these systems can be fabricated either as an integral circuit or you, you can mount on a pr uh, printer circuit board called PCB. So, um, Home Holdings, um, it's a British semiconductor company and the software design company based on uh, in Cambridge England its primary business is in the design of ARM process CPUs although it's design other chips systems and platform system on a chip SOC infrastructure and software as a holding company it also holds shares of other companies uh, it is considered to be a market dominant for processes in mobile phones smartphones other otherwise The next one called Cadence Design Systems as headquartered in San Jose, California. It's also an American multinational company. The company mainly produces software, hardware, and silicon structures for designing and integrated circuits, system on chips, and printed circuit boards. Uh, Cadence delivers tools, software, IP, and high-end services that help companies design and verify chips, packages, boards, and entire systems. The next one, Synapses is an American electronic design automation company that focuses on silicon design and verification. Silicon intellectual property and software security and quality products includes logic synthesis, behavioral synthesis, uh, and uh, so on. So their technology is present in self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, and internet of things, consumer products. Intel's new CEO, Pat Gelsinger announced the new IDM 2.0 strategy and the core of its to in reinforce its manufacturing capabilities. It will not remain its fabs, but it would invest $20 billion in two new fabs and also launch a new Intel Foundry Services uh, company. Uh, this company will offer Intel manufacturing to external customers. So we will listen uh, Intel Neo's CEO announcement. I'm excited to share the next major evolution of Intel's Integrated Device Manufacturer or IDM model. I call it IDM 2.0. Intel is and will remain a leading developer of process technology, a major manufacturer of semiconductors, and the leading provider of silicon globally. IDM 2.0 is the leadership combination of three factors. First. Intel's internal factory network, integrated manufacturing, has been foundational to our success, enabling product optimization, improved economics, and supply resilience. At second, we will also expand our use of third-party foundry capacity across our portfolio to deliver the best products in every category that we participate in. Intel's complementary and strategic use of outside foundries is an underappreciated fact Today, we use foundries to manufacture many products, including chips for communications, connectivity, graphics, and chipsets. But there's more. Our IDM 2.0 model has an important third element. Today, I'm announcing our plans to be a world-class foundry business and a major provider of U.S. and European-based capacity to serve customers globally. So we looked at the IDM 2.0 uh, recent announcement from Intel CEO uh, that also pretty much uh, plays in that uh, foundry business model. The next one, um, this this pretty much operates in the testing um, model called OSAT. Uh, in short, in uh, short form, it's outsourced semiconductor assembly and test. Uh, these are the companies that they offer 
third-party IC packaging and test services. This company is provide packaging to silicon devices that are made by foundries and test devices prior to shipping to the market. Um, so if you look at some of the OSET companies coming to major play at the end stage of the uh, semiconductor manufacturing process after the fiber, uh, fa wafer fabrication and wafer probe stages, these companies offer offers to package or assembly solution that involve in the processing of bare silicon um, semiconductor and the finished semiconductors and it helps in protecting the die as well as the facilitating electronic uh, electrical connections. The next one uh, is called the automated test equipment model. ATE is uh, it's pretty much ATE is a computer control equipment that tests electronic devices uh, for functionality and performance. Right? Uh, if you look at the, the increasing complexity of uh, chips, increases the demand and scope of automated testing. Automated testing use case extend beyond the identification of defects as it allows for manufacturing to assess testers and also to modify components for higher yield or power efficiency. And if you look at some of the companies, AT uh, plays major role in doing conducting stress testing with minimal human in interaction. A AT includes the control hardware sensors and software that collects and analyze the test results. AT is considered cost eff efficient for high volume testing uh, automated test equipment uses a range of sensing te uh, techniques, including uh, mission vision. The semiconductor industry is the aggregate of companies engaged in the design and the fabrication of semiconductors. The semiconductor industry is a truly global affair. Uh, this is the brief overview of the semiconductor industry's ecosystem. Let's start with the far end of this ecosystem. Uh, there are three primarily uh, plays uh, play a major role. One of the major player is the semiconductor equipment supplier, uh, supplying the semiconductor making equipments like photolithography, making supplies, metrology supplies, and so on. And other major supplier is the material supplier uh, supplying in gods chemicals wafers and so that's needed for making chips uh, one other supplies is automation software supplies to improve process quality increase factory performance and maximize the performance of manufacturing so the companies operating in this ecosystem operates in the business models while business model each has different characteristics and functions uh, but all remain important in the semiconductor values chain. Um, if you look at the foundry model, uh, which is a pure play manufacturer, in particular makes uh, very attractive investments given the uh, monopolization of the, some of these companies, high barriers to entry and high growth rates of the semiconductor industry. So if you look at a semiconductor industry ecosystem environment where design and manufacturing tasks are handled in different locations by separate companies uh, means each ecosystem member can focus on its uh, specific expertise. Um, it can be an automated test equipment. ATE companies play just on the test equipments, uh, whereas the assembly and test uh, ecosystem, they can uh, play a major role in packaging and uh, assembling and testing those uh, chips and pretty much uh, the EDA, electronic design automation, and design houses so play a major role in uh, creating an uh, intellectual properties uh, and then uh, rely on the foundries to make those chips. So intellectual property IP uh, designers, uh, fabulous chip design houses or fabulous uh, semiconductor companies that own the uh, chip brand and uh, pure play foundries such as TSMC who make the chips along with the OSADs who package and test are all plays in ecosystem environment. Um, so if you look at this uh, an ecosystem brings some inefficiency, inefficiency with it but the overall gains are higher. Uh, so this pretty much this ecosystem works very well and obviously this is uh, going to play even more a vital role in, in today's uh, ship shortage. 
So next video, um, I'll be focusing on a specific uh, uh, business model, integrated decision manufacturer, and how do they uh, design the chips uh, from start to end. Um, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm happy to share some of the uh, chip making uh, process in this whole uh, videos. Thank you once again.